Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome to the weekend preview as we head into the second week of the uh, English Premier League for fantasy football and the predictor and we'll also uh, do a quick update of the fantasy baseball as well. Um, but we've got to start by saying a big, big congratulations to Webby's White. What a debut it was. The Golden Cup winner for week one with nine points. And given it was the first week, and I don't think anybody had any clue what to do uh, in terms of predictions, getting almost to double figures is quite impressive. So we'll have a quick scroll down so you can see where it is that you uh, that you came in. A few debutants having very, very good starts. Um, Mouth Bandit, I think, has been very harshly dealt the <laughs> the wooden spoon there. Um, and our defending champion, Rujistan, sitting right there in mid-table, uh, no doubt ready to look. I'm not quite sure why it has the waiting thing there for you, Adam, but um, it says you remember. So, if yeah, there we go. Um, but that is how everything stacked up after the first week. Now, let's go and have a quick look at the matches coming up. Is this going to take us to last round? Uh, it is. So that's just a recap of that. And let's have a look at the matches we have upcoming this week. Actually, given we were two games down, nine points is actually quite a very good score. So uh, let's go over to round two here and see where this leaves us. Everton versus West Brom. Everton looked decent, didn't they? West Brom, maybe not so much. Uh, let's say maybe a 3-0 in that one. Uh, lots of you already putting your picks in. Excellent stuff. Uh, all right, let's go and have a look at uh, the second game here, which is Leeds United versus Fulham. Um, now, of course, last year, this was a Premier League, a Premier League, a championship fixture, wasn't it? But you've got to say Leeds, very unlucky last week. Fulham, maybe not quite so much. I don't know what to say about this one. Um, you would imagine Fulham are going to approach the game very differently to what Liverpool did, wouldn't you? Uh, and they're going to be looking to keep it tight. I'm going to say maybe 2-0, but that could even be you wonder if it could be a little bit of uh, sort of, what do they call it, after the Lord's Mad show, where that could be just like a nil-nil, where Leeds, but Leeds aren't going to, they, they're going to go for it, aren't they? A first game of the season for Manchester United against Crystal Palace, who got the win last week. Um, I mean, it's at Old Trafford. You think they're going to be, they're going to be flying high, aren't they? So let's say a 3-0 there. Arsenal versus West Ham. I mean, West Ham. I just feel so bad for their fans. They look an absolute shambles. Arsenal look a decent team. Um, yeah, I think that could be anything. And hopefully, Aubameyang will get a hat trick, and we'll find out why when we see my fantasy team. Southampton versus Spurs. Oh, you what? You what? I mean, are Spurs going to be on a high? Is Gareth Bale going to play in this one? That's another, the other question, isn't it? At the time of recording, I don't believe that's happened as of yet. Um, I just think Spurs are a little bit of a shambles. I think, yeah, we're going to say 1-0. Newcastle versus Brighton. Why is it uploading so slow today? Oh, that's a rhetorical question. You don't have to answer me. <laughs> Newcastle versus Brighton. Um, I'm going to say 1-1. Newcastle could be a decent team this year, but I just, yeah... I'm not convinced. I'm never convinced by Steve Bruce, to be honest, but that's because I'm a Villa fan. Uh, Chelsea versus Liverpool, the first heavyweight clash of the season. Um, I have a sneaky feeling that Chelsea just might do that. So that's what we're going to go with. Leicester versus Burnley, a first game, of course, for Burnley this season. Leicester, again, looked eventually quite good last weekend. Um, it'll be a tight one, won't it? Let's say 1-0. Yeah, let's say one. I didn't see how Burnley got on in the um, thingo during the week, the Carabao Cup. Villa versus Sheffield United. Our Lord and Saviour, Jack Grealish, is uh, staying. Sheffield United, uh, I have a bad feeling for them this season. But it'll go one or two ways. It'll either be brilliant again, or I think they could really, really struggle and find themselves getting relegated. Uh, I'm going to be biased. I'm going to say 2-0. Which is very biased, but uh, let's hope that that happens. Wolves versus Manchester City. An interesting game, this one. A first game for Manchester City as well. Um, you do think they're going to be a little bit too strong, but I think that could be an absolutely cracking game. Uh, definitely one to watch on Monday. So those are my tips. Uh, if you haven't done yours yet, make sure you go and get them done. Uh, you have. Don't forget if you do miss the first game, um, it doesn't. It doesn't close off the whole thing. You can you can tip the games that haven't started yet. So um, yeah, that's not too bad. And we can see our Rooster Stand has got his little purple crown there as well. Uh, the purple jester, shall we call him for this year? It looks more like a jester's hat, does it not, than a crown? Um, 
But anyway, that's a nice little touch as well. So we can we can recognize our defending champion throughout the year. This brings us to the Patreon Fantasy Football. If you are a Patreon, uh, we can see there we've got uh, a, a much expanded league, which is good. If you want to join in, it's not too late, obviously. Just one week gone. Link to the Patreon down in the description. Any level, of course, of Patreon support is appreciated and we'll get you entry into this. The Cobra Chickens, though, have leapt out of the gates. Last season's runner-up. Um, and very, very good uh, start from them. Uh, McGinn and Tonic up there in second. Uh, we can see Arnold's Barbarians going all the way down. I'm just kind of just lurking, just lurking. Last year's defending champion off to a slow start, Vault GFC. Uh, the Birmingham Blue Nosers, I'd love to say I'm disappointed to see them down there. But that is a name that is made to taunt me. Does a wonderful job of it. Um, and it's, uh, my heart bleeds to see them struggling. And, <laughs> so, sorry mate. <laughs> and uh, the Mouth of Bandits. I know William is very much, um, very much a baseball fan, so uh, I'm sure he'll he'll get the hang of things and kick on a little bit as the season uh, goes on. But my team for this week, and I have made a few changes. I've got Martinez in. I picked him up, hoping he would go to Villa, and he's done just that. So he's my goalkeeper for this week. Tarkovsky comes in to go with Doherty, Tierney, and Alexander Arnold as my defence. Uh, De Bruyne can come in this week with. Um, with Wolves playing. Aboumiang against West Ham. He could score a hat-trick in that one. Let's hope he does for my sake. Klitsch and I brought Grealish in as well. So he gets, uh, he obviously gets the start in this one. Watkins. I'm, I, I'm, you know, my golden rule is normally don't pick Villa players. Because you jinx them. I'm excited for the new season. I've picked them all. Uh, I've maxed out my Villa, my Villa players. Which is probably a bad thing. And Calvert-Lewin. I'm going to bring him in. If Everton's playing uh, West Bromwich Albion. It looks like he's going to play. He's got a good team behind him. So I think he could be a good player uh, for fantasy football this year. So that is my fantasy team. Um, hopefully, well, probably do the opposite of this and you'll you'll do okay. And fantasy baseball update as well. Mooses and Gooses continue to have a, a decent lead uh, ahead of the Birmingham Blue Nosers. Canadian Blizzard is there as well. Um, the trucking football manager, no socks. And yeah, we won't mention too much about me down the bottom there. Uh, as I said last week, this season has taught me anything. It's that I am a pitiful fantasy baseball player. 27 points yesterday. That is ridiculous. But anyway... Yeah, 1,500 points behind. I could end up being more behind than I have points by the end of this season. Although we're getting towards the end, aren't we? So maybe not. Maybe I will hang in there. Uh, but that is Fantasy Baseball for uh, for this week as well. But guys, that's it. Uh, try and keep these short and sweet. Don't forget to go put your tips in. Good luck uh, with how everybody's going. And let's see if next week, if it's uh, Webby's Whites maintaining the top of the leaderboard and the Golden Cup, or if we're going to have a different... Why is it going so slow? Uh, if we're going to have... This is ruining my exit. You're ruining my exit, Super Brew. We'll see you next week. Take care. There it is.